So this video should be a pretty quick one. I want to talk about dates, times, date times, timestamps, and years. These are all of the different uh, data types related to time and dates. So I've created a simple little table here called time data, and I've got four or five columns rather. First one is called times, and if we come in here, we can look for the various date and time data types. So time, that's what we're looking for. This is going to have uh, any sort of value that has hours, minutes, seconds, and fractions of a second. So if you were writing it, you'd have hours and then a colon, minutes, seconds, and then the fraction. So like the thousandth of the second. Now, we don't have to put anything in here when we're creating the table for the lengths or the values for any of these. Um, if we want, we can come over here to the default value and choose as defined. If we do that, that allows us to have a default value. So that means when somebody is inserting a row into a table with this data type, the as defined, if we have that selected and we have something here, this is the value that's going to be put into that row only if the person has not selected something. So we can come in here and say, I want to use as defined, uh, let's say 1300. So at one millisecond after one o'clock, 1 p.m. That's gonna be the default value if somebody doesn't provide a value when they're doing an insert. Now dates, dates will be year, month, day, just like that. Uh, those are the three parts with hyphens in between them. We can, if we want, provide an as-defined value, but we don't have to. Uh, for date times, we're looking at the combination of these two fields. So there's going to be year, month, day, with a hyphen between them, and then a space, and then the hours, minutes, second. So we can come in here for date times, and it would be the four, two, Two, and then we would provide the hours, minutes, seconds, and then the fractions. So that whole thing together, that's how the format would be for date times. Uh, timestamps. This is, for MySQL, a timestamp is the number of seconds that have passed since the start of the Unix Epoch, which is January 1st, 1970. So midnight, January 1st, 1970 from that point until whatever your time is that is going to be your timestamp whatever number uh, javascript uses milliseconds to count the time but uh, mysql uses seconds for the timestamps and then year i guess we should put all these times in here uh, or data types so year is a four digit year and it's valid for any value from uh, 1,000 up to 9,999. That's the range of valid years. So for our timestamp, we'll select that. Date times, dates. There we go. Those are the five types. And there's an extra option in here for current timestamp. If you have current timestamp selected as the default value, when somebody does an insert, this is going to take the current timestamp and put it into this field for you if you don't provide a value for the timestamp. Okay, so that is all of the date and time fields. Oh, yeah, we can't leave uh, the uh, 2019 in there as a valid value. There we go. So that's the five data types for time and date. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.